We often asked, how do you do your onboarding and what is included? Let me tell you this from day one. Our only mission is for you to stop phoning us. Why? Because every time one of your staff members pick up the phone and call us, one of ours have to answer the call and we're both losing money. And I don't know about you, but I don't like losing money. So our mission is to do as much as possible in the beginning of the relationship so that we can get your staff to a point where they no longer need to phone us. So we include five different steps in our onboarding. The first one is where we do a full discovery. The second one is where we do a cleanup of the existing systems. And then of course, we have to optimize what you have, document what you have, and then finally educate your staff. Let me go into a little bit more detail on each one. So the first part is the discovery. We come into your business and we sit down with the business owners and the key staff and understand exactly what you currently have and what needs to potentially change in future. You might have a server, you might have 20, 30, 40 PCs. You might have some stuff that's working, some stuff that's not working, but we need to find out where you are and what's actually already broken that needs fixing in future. The second part, which for me is the best, most fun part, is the cleanup part. Because every single time we take on a new client, we put our agents on every single server, PC, Mac, and then we start through this deep cleaning process. And we do most of this work out of hours, so there's no interruption to the staff. But every single time we get the same answer, and they say, wow, our machines have never worked as well as they do now after the cleanup. And of course, what this results into is that the machines last longer, which means you don't have to replace them, you know, in the next few months or year. The third part is what we call optimizing the systems. So what we're doing there is we're looking at how the machines are working. What programs could we be removing off the systems? Our view is that only leave the applications on the PCs, Mac servers that needs to be used every day. Because for every software package that's on the machine that shouldn't be there, it slows the user down by a second, two seconds, a minute a day, and it all adds up. And of course, the next step, which is the most important step if you ask my business partner, Graham, is the documentation part. We need to understand what is the process of setting up a new user? What's the process if somebody needs to leave? You know, if Mary likes printing to this printer in the accounts department for the accounts staff, we need to document all this information. We also come in and we take photos of all the key network elements and put that onto our documentation. We do not save any user passwords because of GDPR, but we do save all the administrative passwords. So if somebody needs to have a uh, password reset, we have what we call a default client password which we then send and the very next time they log off that needs to be reset and then of course finally the education part for me this is such an important part because you know you can have the best tools in place but and the best systems in place but 40 percent of somebody's day is normally a repetition from yesterday which means so much time is lost and again if we can educate and we can help your staff do things in a better way faster way hence why we do so many videos and constantly looking at a way of grabbing another 15 minutes here 15 minutes there that's where the value comes in because most other it companies out there what they'll do is they'll come in take you on board promise you the world don't do anything wait for the calls to ring and then everybody loses out our way is very different as part of the educational process, we also arrange workshops too. One is to our, what we call our time-saving workshops, where we share at least an hour's worth of tips and tricks that would help your staff get off the ground very quickly when it comes to saving time. And the other one, which I think is probably more important, is the one on cybersecurity. You must have heard this acronym before, PICNIC. Problem in chair, not in computer. Every staff member is the last form of defense that we have and I feel that we need to constantly educate staff on what to be looking out for in case they click on one link that's going to bring the business down so that's another thing we do and then of course the, the fun bit afterwards when all of this is done is to sit down with the business owners or the key decision makers and then discuss of everything that we found and what needs to happen in the business going forward. So, you know, a three months plan, six months, a year, two years, three years, and really understand where the business is moving and then be able to advise accordingly. 
This is where business owners truly see the value. And this, of course, is an ongoing process. It cannot stop here. All these steps are designed to ensure that we get your system secure, working as fast as possible in the shortest amount of time, because then everybody wins.